My name is James Bow Barkley and I'm a musician and an anxious person. I've found that the creation and sharing of music has become a big part of reducing my own anxiety. And busking for anxieties was inspired by wanting to share the emotional catharsis I found in music with other non-musical people. Today's public secret is that everyone is anxious. When anxiety is discussed at all, it is understood as an individual psychological problem. This is a quote from the Institute of Precarious Consciousness that suggests anxiety needs to be addressed as a public issue, not a personal one. As a busker, I asked the public for spare change, assuming everyone could, and probably does, have some. So why not ask the public for anxieties in the same way, saying everyone could, and probably does, have some. So I went busking, and I asked the public for anxieties instead of money collecting 20 anxieties in the first iteration. The space surrounding me became a place where anxiety was discussed. I'd created a de-alienated space. This is a place where anxiety is not being addressed in the same way as it is in the rest of society, creating new perspectives of anxiety being valuable and a public issue. The next iteration included the anxiety wall. People stuck up their anxieties and also their solutions to be seen by others. This reinforced the de-alienated space and facilitated more public interaction. I heard friends asking each other, so what does make you anxious, mate? They were asking each other about what made them anxious for the first time. And the de-alienated space had worked. Some responses were jokey, such as lyrics from Let It Go by Passenger. And some were more serious. What makes you anxious, my son? What makes you feel better? Him getting over his anxiety and depression. The man who left this was very encouraged by the project and said it made him feel less alone. To bring busking for anxieties away from me as a musician and more towards the system, I recruited other buskers. My name is Rupert Caney, I'm a full-time musician. I do a lot of busking and uh, I play here quite a lot on the Tate Modern. Mm -hmm. You're doing a project with busking for anxieties. Busking with Rupert allowed me to talk to the public and I met a host of mentally ill people who more or less all said the project made them feel empathised and positive about the future of mental health stigma in society. Every, in between every song I'd look over and I'd see people filling out stuff and then yeah. the wall was, was full by the end. So I almost thought you could take this like around sure. festivals, music festivals, food festivals. Mm -hmm. I asked another musician and busker, Alex Gibson, what he thought of the project. You can have a shared experience with all the other people as well, which is great, because we, all we want is a shared experience. Busking with the anxiety wall was proving successful. However, I wanted to make the public collaborators in music creation using their anxieties, which after a series of experiments led to busking for anxieties, then singing them. Are you what makes me anxious? Breaks you among other things Like not having enough money to live on when I'm old Man They make me anxious I'm scared of not succeeding Failing in life I don't understand why people talk in English and it makes me anxious, but when I feel good, when people talk in French. Please! <laughs> Mom has mental health. I wore the morph suit to keep me as an archetype of a musician. It wasn't James Bo Barkley singing the songs, but the Anxiety Song Man. The participants provided their emails, and the videos of their songs were sent to them. The email asked participants if they would like a song professionally recorded. I received three replies and here's Annabelle reacting to her song. Hi there James, this is Annabelle from Switzerland. Well this is the reaction of me when I listen to your song for the first time. I love it! 
it's kind of sad, but it's kind of happy at the same time, which is exactly my situation. So I think you've done a really, really good job. And thank you so much for sending me this. The songs I recorded are uploaded on a dedicated SoundCloud account, allowing participants to share them on social media, as Annabelle did. This creates a talking point around anxiety in Annabelle's social circle. Annabelle's song is due to be released on a physical CD with cover art and information about the whole process. Annabelle and other participants expressed positive responses to the songs, so in some way I achieved my original goal of providing good emotions and potentially reducing anxiety in others by creating and sharing music. Busking for Anxieties is a form of mental health activism and it spreads an open discourse on anxiety. By interacting with the public on the streets, with its online presence and by directly affecting participants and their peer groups, Busking for Anxiety shares anxiety in the public domain and changes perspectives on anxiety across a wide demographic. If you would like to find out more about this project or get involved, please head to my blog at jamesbarkleydesign.com forward slash blog. Thanks for watching.